Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Sally Turner, joined here with Emmy Award journalist Hattie Kaufman to discuss her memoir, Falling Into Place. Okay, Hattie, you've made a career for yourself by telling other people's stories, but why was the time now for you to tell yours? Oh boy, you're right, a career of looking at others mm -hmm. and then to take the camera, I guess, uh, it's actually my book, but to look at myself. I'm older, I'm not on television anymore, I've retired. I've wanted to tell the Kaufman stories for so long. If you've read the book, you know that those kids, us, we went through so much. And I knew inside of me that there was a story there all of these years. But traveling as a network news correspondent, I didn't have a lot of time to write it. And now I did, and now I can. I was afraid earlier to say some of the things because I shed a light on our house and as little kids and my parents were drinking or absent or somehow just not there for us. And you know, you don't want to write a book that says I had bad parents. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to write a book here that says, look how tough we are, look how we survived, look how we came together and we got through it. That's why it's called a memoir of overcoming. Absolutely. And you do show a very vulnerable side of yourself. You talk about the breakdown of your marriage, as you said, your dark childhood. But you also talk about finding God. So which was the most challenging part for you to talk about, for you to show, share with the world? Oh boy, good question. Um, maybe finding God, because that's what people put up walls about right away. Like, don't tell me, don't preach to me. And I really don't see this book as that. I mean, I hope that the reader is as surprised as I was at where it, it led. When, when the book starts, I have no idea it's going there. I, I'm just dealing with the divorce. And it's really the upheaval of the divorce that sense that I thought what was solid, you know, this wall or this, you know, the ground underneath my feet, I think this is solid and suddenly it falls away. That threw me into remembering my childhood because I had felt that I'm afraid feeling. What's safe? And together, somehow, those two weave and who knew where I would find my source of strength and comfort? You know, I didn't know. And you did overcome it, and I think that's one of the messages yes. of, of the book. But would you change any part of the journey if you could? Knowing what I know now and where I had end up, the answer is no. Mm -hmm. If you'd asked me that you know, several years ago, I would have said yes. You know, I wouldn't have married that guy in the first <laughs> place. <laughs> who wants to be dumped? Um, but I... Uh, no, at knowing what I know now, um, there is a, a piece of scripture that all things work for good. Mm -hmm. And I realize that this tough road made me open. Now, do you miss being on this side of it? Do you miss asking the questions? Is it strange for you sitting here being the subject and not the one doing it, the interview? It really is, especially after a whole lifetime of kind of hiding these stories. You know, when you work in television, it can be glamorous. People will come into the television business not because they need a job, but because you get to meet world leaders, political leaders, economic titans, movie stars. And so people sometimes, my coworkers, would be people who were there for the joy of it, and I was there because I'm scrambling out of poverty. And so I kept my life to myself. And after decades of, of not talking about these stories, yeah, it's a little uncomfortable to, to say, yes, this was me. And... Um, um, I'd much rather be where you're sitting asking questions. <laughs> it's a safer place. It's a safer place for you. So yeah. you're, you're more nervous being on that side? I, I guess so, yeah. And I kind of got, my message from this book was a lot about hope, strength, and I told you I was very much inspired by your story. But what is the message you want people to take away from it? Oh, actually a couple. There, I mean, one is you can get through. I mean, the, the basic message is it, no matter how bad it is right now, it's not going to stay that way. But a second message, and one I actually wish I had pushed a little harder and, and written a little more at the end, is that no one is as bad as the worst thing they ever did. 